for Sports with Tom Wiley. And welcome back. Today is the first day of the early national signing period across the nation for NCAA Division I schools. And in central Montana, that means several athletes seeing their hard work pay off, putting pen to paper and realizing their dreams. Letters started coming in at 7 in the morning and our day began in Fairfield where Ryder Meyer followed through on his commitment to the University of Montana, signing to play safety for the Grizzlies. It's just been a dream, dream come true for me. Uh, something I've always, always wanted to do growing up is play football for the University of Montana. So now that uh, it's finally coming to a reality, um, can't really put it into words how excited I am to, to be able to play for the Grizz. And I remember being, being little uh, and we were, we were sitting by the tunnel where the Grizz come out and we would all, I would always reach my hand out and give them high fives before they ran out of the helmet. Now Meyer has the chance to be the guy running out of the tunnel and high-fiving young fans. That's going to be something super cool, I think. Uh, you know, hopefully I can be a foundation for them, for kids to look up to. Yeah, his mom and I were just talking about it th this morning and uh, uh, talking about are we excited? Yes, and then at the same time it's, it's uh, unbelievable too and, and uh, to have you, your son uh, now signing and, and playing at the University of Montana, it's, it's actually kind of a, a surreal thought. Meyer is joined in the Grizz recruiting class by another small school athlete. Great Falls Central's Noah Ambule signed his letter flanked by his parents, coaches, and teammates. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, I thought about this day since I committed and I thought I knew how it feel, but then I can't even put into words how good it feels and how uh, exciting it is. Ambule is a four-year starter at quarterback in high school who will play tight end for the Grizzlies. He led the Mustangs to an appearance in the eight-man title game as a senior and says his time at Central paved the way for an opportunity at the next level. When we started out, I mean, we were like three and five, I think, my freshman year, and we built on that every year and kind of got back to the tradition Central had in the past, and that was really big for us, and I think that really helped um, me as a player grow and become a better player. And you can tell from this picture of young Noah that this is something he's been dreaming about for a long time. I've had a countdown on my phone till the day, then wake up then I knew it was time. In Lewistown, Tanner Trafton signed on as a wide receiver from Montana State. His decision was equal parts for athletic and academic reasons. He plans to put forth the same amount of effort on the field as he will pursuing a pre-med degree. I think just a really hard worker, that's what I've kind of, you know, based, based uh, off what, what I've done in high school, so um, just giving my best effort every day and uh, being the best, uh, you know, representative of the program that I can be um, on an, on the field and off the field, and then being the best student, uh, best guy in the classroom, and so I think that's that, that's my main thing for that. At Great Falls High, record-setting quarterback Blake Thielen is also Montana State bound. He's the newest addition to the MSU recruiting class, committing just Tuesday night, but he says he's always wanted to be a Bobcat. Everything I've done in my life has just kind of led up to this moment. Uh, I'm always, I've always been a Bobcat fan. Uh, ever since I knew before, or ever since I knew what football even was, I just always went to the Cat games. My dad was a Bobcat. Blake's father, Terry, was part of the 1984 National Championship team at Montana State, and the Thielen kids grew up with stories of gridiron glory from Bozeman. I think I was in seventh grade. Yeah, he was part of that, and we got to get recognized on the field for their accomplishments, and I think that was one of the highlights of my whole life is going out on the field and waving at the camera, getting recognized, and yeah, it was pretty crazy. Always something that he's worked, well, he's, he's worked for it, and uh, to actually see it come true, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Thielen not the only Bison athlete signing to play football in college. All-state receiver and defensive back Kyle Torgerson will follow his brother Cody to Montana Tech. Went down to my visit, not really sure if I wanted to play football or if I just wanted to go to college. And so um, after my visit, uh, talking to the coaches really intrigued me. And so that's when I made my decision and Cody was happy with it. I'm really proud of them, obviously try to make every single game that I can, but just every single game that they are, they're going out there playing hard, especially Kyle, his senior year, he balled out every single game. And In Helena, a pair of Bengals are trading red and white for blue and gold, signing with Montana State. Alex Johnson and Holden Sampson knew the Cats were the right fit for them. It felt like the right fit. Uh, felt like home down there and just a great community down there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, felt, it definitely felt like 
um, they're on the right track as far as uh, having a winning culture and um, developing uh, good young people. So um, I want to be a part of that, and I think Holm does too. Of course, that's just a portion of the Central Montana athletes signing to play college football or any college sport at the next level. We'll be hearing a lot more over the next few weeks as the uh, signing period continues and NAI schools lock down their recruiting classes. Meanwhile, Montana and Montana State uh, both have released their early signing classes, and you can find those lists at montanasports.com. 17 for Montana State, 21 new signees for the Grizz, and that's your check on sports. We'll be right back.